Good morning, everyone. It's a special, important, exciting, and nervous day all at the same time today. Today, I will no longer be unemployed and I'm starting my new job today. A couple of weeks ago, I resigned from my job and it was a bitter and sad day at the same time. I really enjoyed my old job. It was really fun. It was a lot, I have grown a lot since I've been there. However, a new opportunity presented itself. After praying over it with Margaret and my family, I decided that this new job would be a better opportunity for me professionally, personally, and for my family as a whole. With the new baby coming and everything, I decided to take two weeks between Christmas and New Year's off and be unemployed. And so today I'm actually starting my new job. It is not even seven o'clock yet. I've been up since 5.30. I've gotten a shower, getting dressed. I'm about to go get breakfast. I'm a little nervous. You know, that feeling in your stomach <sighs> to, get it, to get it going, to get it started. So I'm really excited about this opportunity, this company, and there are a few reasons why, and I might do a di different video for that. I'm both excited and nervous at the same time because at the other company, I was very, um, I have risen in the ranks. I am um, known there. I am um, appreciated and my opinions are valued. And I was a manager there as well. Going to this new company, it's a brand new company. It's no one knows who I am. I don't know anyone. So it's a little nerve wracking at the same time and I have to start building that trust all over again. But I'm excited for the opportunity to do that. Honestly, I have started working at my previous company before I even started working in the workforce. What I mean by that is when I came back to Auburn to get my master's degree, they put me out there as a research assistant. So I knew the company when I got hired on. I knew people when I got hired on. I already had relationships built before I even was hired on. So this is almost like my real first job that I'm starting from the bottom. First day at work, knows nobody. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. I just know that I'm walking up to the front desk and looking for my boss. So really nerve wracking. I'm really nervous, but I'm so excited. I think it's gonna be a great learning experience for me and I can't wait to get started. So I'm making this video today on the first day and I'll probably make the second part of this video on the last day of my first week and see how it goes. Hey everyone, so a few updates from the first day at work. It was a full day orientation where we got to learn about the company, you got to learn about where, we got to learn about their history, you got to learn about their vision for what's coming. And it's really exciting to know about the back end and the front end. So you know what you're working for, you know what you're working on, and you know what to expect. So that's really exciting. First day, full day in classroom, learning about it. So that was all the first day. <clears throat> I got to meet my manager face to face because everything we've been communicating up to this point has been via computer since COVID and everything. I got to meet some of my team that I'll be working with and that's exciting. Uh, they gave me uh, my working station, they gave me a phone, which is really exciting. But what's exciting most of all is the possibilities of this company, the things that they'll be able to do. Got my own name tag right here, which is pretty cool. It's uh, even on one of these slidey thingy. So that's pretty cool. I've always wanted one of those. One of the coolest thing, in my opinion, and I'm still trying to get my head around this, is every one of them referred to us as employees, new employees, new employees, congratulated us. But when we were leaving yesterday, the trainer was like, hey, be sure you park in the employees parking lot. And I don't know why that sounds so weird. Because in my head, I'm like, okay, I'm not really officially starting a job, but I am. I guess as of now, I'm fully considered to be an employee there. But in my mind, I'm like, you know, I'm still in this limbo situation. So it's really exciting and nervous at the same time to see that. 
So I'm really excited. On day two, we get to learn about safety. So we'll see how that goes. There's a forklift thing. I'm not quite ready to tell you where I'm working yet. I don't know, it just sounds so weird. So anyways, we'll update you on day two later. Hey everyone, so today is actually day number four on the job. So I'm gonna give an update on day number two and day number three. Yesterday, I was messing around editing a photo album, so I didn't have time to update it. But day number two was mostly boring, but informative. It was all about safety, so this company designated a whole day on training us on safety. I've never been at any workplaces where they dedicated so much time on safety, but it would make sense because of the operations that they're running. Safety from handling a knife, a box knife, to safety if um, a tornado comes, safety if they have to close the company for whatever reason, how to deal with stuff if something would happen. And it really was informative and really good and I really enjoyed it. Learned a lot, but that was mostly it. The whole day on safety. And then yesterday, it was a little different. So yesterday on day number three, we had meetings with HR to set up our stuff in the system so we get paid since we're going to work, set up our health insurance and all of that. Very good. On And then in the afternoon, we're gonna take a plant tour. And it was really eye-opening how big this place was. Um, I didn't get to tour the plant when I interviewed for the job just because since COVID and everything, I was doing everything remotely. So getting to tour the plant, and I'm not sure that is part of their normal operating procedure to tour the plant anyways, to see how all of it goes together was really, really eye-opening. I'm just gonna throw this out there. I'm gonna get lost. It doesn't matter. Directions is not my thing. Then yesterday evening, we got to learn about operational excellence. We're gonna learn about keeping a workplace clean, why we keep it clean, why we should, and everything that goes into it. How to eliminate waste, the eight wastes out there. It was, it, was really, it was really pretty amazing. And we have another full day today ahead of us. So I'll update you guys later. Hey, so the first week is now finished. And I'm about to start my second week of work tomorrow, but I just wanna wrap up this video with the last two days of training. On day number four, on Thursday, it was a very educational day. We learned about sanitization, we learned about good manufacturing practices, and we learned about standard operating procedures. So a lot went on on Thursday, lots of stuff that I had to try and absorb, and it was very good. One of the things I learned is I didn't know how to wash my hand properly, and I don't think you do either, so if you, have thought about it, go on and watch some videos about how you should wash your hand. Then we'll also learn about all the standard operating procedures and good manufacturing practices for this company and how we need to document our processes, how we need to report problems and how important it is to report problems. And it's really, really good. Um, learn a lot that day. On Friday, the last day of the week, this is very, actually very interesting because it's the first company that ever done this that I know of is we spent half the day volunteering at a local charity in town. They said that that is part of why the company was created is to help others. So we need to put that into practice and we all went out and helped other people. We actually went and helped and work at the food bank where we sorted food, we packaged food and we sorted gifts um, that people have given so it was very good and then lastly on friday afternoon we learned about our nutritions um, about how we need to take care of ourselves with the pandemic going on and with everything going on out there and that was actually very beneficial i learned how everything i thought that i've been eating very healthy thus far actually was not good at all and that how i could do what i could do to be better so I told Margaret that um, we're about to relook at everything we have done and how we can be better. So anyway, it was a very good first week of work, a long week of orientation, but I learned a lot about a company from what they stand for, how they operate, but also how they care for their employees. I don't know that I mentioned this on day number two and three, but part of our requirement to work for this company is we have to wear steel toe boots every time we get on the floor and they actually bought me a pair of boots instead of requiring me to go and buy one. So that, that tells me that they, you know, there's a, they take a step forward to, to try and take care of their employees, which is very, very good and says a lot about them. So saying all that to say, when a company takes care of you like that, it makes me personally wanna ask myself, what can I do to 
work harder for the company and take care of them because they have taken care of me. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new here, I'm glad you're here. And if you've been here before, thank you so much. I don't know if you've had a similar experience and if you did, leave a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.